he was a good student. He was a member of our basketball team, our modified basketball team. Teachers enjoyed having him in class. He had a great personality. Uh, this is definitely a loss for Hackett Middle School and for our district. A local middle school mourning the loss of a 13-year-old student. The boy was traveling in a stolen car with five other teenagers when it crashed in the city of Albany. On News and ABC's Juliana Bruno reporting live now with our top local story. Uh, Juliana has obtained video of the incident and eyewitness accounts of the crash. Hi, Juliana. John and Lydia, I'm standing here on Broadway where last night's incident that ultimately took the life of a 13 year old boy came to an end. Now, through pol police radio communications and that eyewitness account that you mentioned, we were able to put together a timeline of what happened and how that stolen car with six teenagers inside ended up right here. Around 6.30 last night, police noticed a stolen vehicle in the area of Lark Street and Manning Boulevard. When they tried to stop the car, they said the driver refused and the car crashed into another vehicle. Start EMS to uh, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Manning, or Pennsylvania Northern. There's probably going to be injuries there. The driver of the car then kept going. From our security camera at News 10, you can see police following behind a car on Northern Boulevard around the time they say it happened. We're now southbound on Broadway. It looks like they're going to crash out here. And then the mandatory message broadcast to units involved when there's a pursuit in the city of Albany. 1833, use caution, do not unreasonably endanger the lives of public or fellow officers. Walter Thompson was a witness as the incident came to his neighborhood. They wasn't going super fast behind them. They were just trying to follow them, just trying to make them stop. The car eventually stopped near a building in the area of Broadway and Lawn Ave. Police found there were six teenagers inside between ages 13 and 15. Just send us another unit. No rush. Along with make sure you have VMS on We have one that's uh, in the vehicle, not conscious, not breathing. He's not breathing? Yeah, he is breathing, not alert. The 13-year-old passenger was seriously injured and taken to the hospital where he later died. They was pumping his chest and trying to see was he okay, you know, and the, and the cop was saying, come on, come on, you okay, get up, get up. But um, he didn't, he wasn't moving at all. Superintendent Kawita Adams told us that the family did not want the identity of the 13-year-old boy who was killed in the crash released at this time. The five remaining teens were taken into police custody, and at this time, the incident remains under investigation. Reporting live in Albany tonight, Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC.